Good evening and welcome to Covenant's Reflection on the Rock this Wednesday. As you can tell, I'm not at Covenant. Um, so this comes to you um, by the twin miracles of technology and Bob Kern. Tonight we're going to look at um, a section of Psalm 105. And we're going to begin um, with a piece of music um, of gratitude, which is sort of going to be our theme tonight. Um, and it's um, a reminder that we are here to call upon the Lord. Let us pray. Great God, you have called us here and now we call upon you to make us aware of your presence. Help us look back on our day and look forward to tomorrow from the point of this moment, this moment of gratitude. Amen. Tonight we're reading portions of Psalm 105. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on God's name. Make known God's deeds among the peoples. Sing to God. Sing praises to God. Tell of all the wonderful works. Glory in God's holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord in divine strength. Seek God's presence continually. Remember the wonderful works God has done, the miracles and the judgments God has uttered. O oh, offspring of God's servant Abraham, children of Jacob, the chosen ones. The Creator is the Lord our God. Divine judgments are all in the earth. God is mindful of the covenant forever, of the word that was commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that God made with Abraham, the sworn promise to Isaac which God confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, to you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. Praise the Lord. We've read this psalm before, omitting slightly different verses, but it's still a psalm that gives me a lot to think about. It's basically a song about how God's faithfulness is always there for us. Um, faithful in the past, faithful in keeping promises, faithful in looking towards the future. Who couldn't use that now? I'm spending um, a few weeks in New York City with our daughter and her partner and her new baby, uh, Lucas. And I'm very aware of the past and the present and the future. This psalm talks um, about the three generations of um, our faith history, the messy stories of Abraham and Jacob and Isaac. Um, and in case we don't sort of find God's presence in that mess, the psalm then goes on to talk about how um, 34 more verses worth of biblical history um, and giving examples of how God has been present and God has been faithful 
to those descendants. And there I sit um, with a blessed next generation in my lap. And I recall all of the ways that um, God's presence and, and faithfulness um, uh, have, have kept me going, have um, given my parents and my grandparents um, faith and strength through their lives and me, mine, and um, a, a work that God did to bring Jessica into our lives and now another life sits in my lap sort of gurgling at me. What response can there be but thanksgiving? This is a God who works continually to bring good out of bad, to bring justice and wholeness out of broken human systems. A heart who doesn't forget promises, but um, continues to offer them promises with um, future hope and present help. What response can there be but thanksgiving? Well, there is another response that this calls from me, and that is honesty. Honest self-reflection. How have I forgotten my calling as a child of God, my place in the history, the long history um, of humans? Um, and how have I acted to perpetuate some of the broken human systems? that give people such heartache and God such hard work? And how might I live into the promises of God, sharing them, helping others believe them, um, believe them myself at times? Um, in this psalm, it's, uh, um, it's the promise um, of a nation, um, Israel, and that hasn't worked out so well either. But throughout biblical history, we also hear other promises offered over and over and over. God says, I will be with you. The promise of presence. I will guide you. I will give you the words. I will never leave you. This psalm ends as it begins. The first words were, give thanks, um, and the last, praise God. What other response can there be? Well, <laughs> of course I'll find that another response because it's a practical um, practice, as it were, is to, um, to practice the presence of God and to practice the promises of God. Um, one of the things I tried to follow every day um, is to bracket the day um, in a way that the songwriter here um, brackets the psalm. Um, in the morning, um, I'll say, thank you, God. Um, you know, good morning, God. Just drawing attention to God and um, grateful for a night's sleep, grateful um, for the coming of a day, whatever you don't really need to have a list. You just say, thank you, God. And then at night, I, I try to look back like the psalm does and review my day. I don't need to go back generations. I just need to look at this day and how have I spent it? Where have I felt God's presence and promise? Where have I gone wrong? Um, and then I place it all into God's lap. Sometimes it feels like just wordless gurgling. Um, but then I let go uh, and go into rest, thankfully. Thanks be to God. The music behind our prayer this evening is uh, called We Sing to You, O God. And this is um, a prayer or a song that actually um, kind of speaks to our prayer requests for this evening. So we're going to lift up um, people embedded within the prayer. So listen carefully and get a pencil out so you can 
um, have a time of ongoing prayer for these people throughout the week. We sing to you, O God. We sing to you, O God, the rock who gave us birth. Let our rejoicing sing your name to all the earth. To you, O God, let songs be raised in joyful hymns, our feast of praise. Praising you, O God, is what nurtures our souls and strengthens us for the journey. Surround us with your grace and lay your hands upon us as we lift to you our prayers. We pray for medical professionals who tend to patients with tender care. We especially lift up John Nagel as he recovers from heart surgery. For Dan as he continues to heal from cancer surgery. We pray for Eileen Ramona's daughter at Highland Hospital and ask your Holy Spirit to surround Ernest as he undergoes a heart transplant. We pray for the Freedom Scholars and their summer program to encourage literacy and self-esteem in the children and youth of our city. Pray for police officers and all first responders as they deal with unrelenting violence and lawlessness. And we thank you for their commitment and dedication to public safety, health, and well-being. We praise you, O God, for tending to those prayers we keep locked deep in our hearts trusting you lovingly and tenderly care for each one. O oh God, eternal God, we hide within your wings the everlasting arms to whom our praises ring. Your word is true. Your way is just. You are the God in whom we trust. As we join our voices to pray the prayer Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from this time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our announcements this evening is a reminder that on Tuesday, August 1st, we will host the um, Beechwood Na National Night Out event on the front lawn, weather depending. And we will also be learning a lot about um, the, the topic of bail reform, which is another reason why we should be very interested in uh, Tuesday's topic, or that Tuesday topic, is because it does relate um, to what's happening in our neighborhoods. And then on August 18th and 19th, we have our new to you sale. We need some donations to help with that sale. And we always need volunteers to help set up and also to work the sale. And then Saturday, the 19th is our good neighbor day. And that's where we offer uh, the neighborhood um, all of our leftover merchandise uh, for free. It's our combination, the way we combine um, outreach and mission and, and uh, fundraisers. And so that is it for announcements. And now as we go into uh, this night, or whatever time of day you are watching this, let's go with grateful hearts as um, 
we close with our final piece of music, give thanks to the Holy One. And where the weak may say, I am strong, where the poor say I am rich because of what God has done for us. May it be so. Good night. <laughs>